Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, guys, we're going to demonstrate a quick brush out. A good grooming always starts out with a good brush out. Uh, we got this little mini poodle here. She's such a sweetheart. Um, we're going to be giving her a clean face and clean feet, but you can see that, like, you know, her, her body is just pretty knotted up everywhere and we're going to try to give her a good brush out so that we can give her a good bath and a haircut so all of this is being done prior to the bath and as we always mention guys we're going to start off with her little tail here work up her back legs her torso her front legs and her head and ears um, she's not crazy about it guys she's a little bit skittish she doesn't like getting pulled on, so we're going to do it as gently as possible. And again, I'm just using this uh, Andis slicker brush. And uh, let's just get started, guys. So on a small dog like this, you know, you can see the size of the brush in comparison to this little baby here. Um, you know, you, you, you kind of want to just start off slow and use the corners of the brush. So, you know, imagine that you have almost three brushes in your hand. You're going to use this corner and this corner, and then the full brush on, on uh, the wider areas of her. But you'll know what I'm talking about as we go along. So, I'm supporting her tail with my hand here. Guys, it seems to be coming out pretty easily. So, again, see, I'm just using this part of the brush. I'm not coming here because if I use the whole brush, then I have to worry about this hitting her privates. So again, guys, we're just kind of, you know, using, using the brush a little bit methodically. So I'm going to go down and I'm see I'm using the corner of the brush for this little spot here, being really, really careful because her, her little vulva is right here. Okay. Hi, mom. I know. I know you don't like this at all. It's okay, sweetie. We got to get this out of you, though. Okay, mama? It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Now, if I pull too hard, you let me know, and I'll stop, okay? Sometimes they'll just let you know. They'll come around. Uh, but, you know, they won't necessarily try to bite you. <laughs> you good girl. <laughs> you sweetie. And if they do come around and they just kind of stare at you or... Just, just know that they're letting you know that that might hurt them or they're just afraid of being hurt. But already we're done with this whole back leg here. And we're gonna move through this fairly quickly, okay guys? Because this isn't gonna be a long video. But brushing, like, like I said, is just probably the most important thing you can do with your dog because what this is doing also aside from getting the knots out is it is really stimulating the skin okay and it's you know scraping across the skin and it's loosening up anything any dander that might be under the skin it's loosen, loosening it all up so this way when we get her in the tub it's all going to get washed away and uh, you know it's just going to clean her better or if a dog has any kind of skin problems it'll be that much easier to work in like a medicated shampoo uh, you know an anti-itch shampoo or a moisturizing shampoo it's okay mama she's older too so you can see how like wobbly she is um, so I'm really I'm open trying to support her best I can and just getting the brush in everywhere okay so this is all done already guys just like that so I'm gonna work up her torso a little notice what I'm doing here guys I'm not pulling on her don't don't mistake this for pulling what I'm doing is just kind of supporting the skin because if you don't then see, see what happens if you don't support the skin look at then it then it pulls on her so what you're doing is you're kind of just supporting the skin so that you can get that brush to do its job with minimal discomfort to her you know or your dog at home guys you should be doing this at home with your own dogs uh, we always say get yourself a good grooming table okay portable grooming table and you know you can be doing this with your dogs at least at least twice a week i would say you know depending on you know how much maintenance your your dog 
might need. But if you have a poodle like this, you know, twice a week minimum, get them up on the table. Um, and I'm not saying uh, bathe them twice a week, but if you brush them, like I said, it just kind of activates um, their glands, their skin glands, and uh, it'll help release some of the necessary uh, oils that the skin will give off. Okay, guys, right here in the tuck-up, real sensitive area. Again, I'm just using this little support there, you know, and that's it, working our way right up her torso. So all of this is just really flowing very quickly. So, you, you know, if you did this twice a week, you would be able to probably do this complete brush out in, in under 10 minutes. Uh, so there's really, there's no excuse for not brushing your dog, guys. You know, really, dogs will get very, very matted. Um, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll have more skin problems. It's, it's a great breeding ground for fleas if you don't brush your dog because fleas love to like hide under knots and mats uh, so that they're, you know, not getting detected and they're, they're biting on your dog. So, and again, you could just check your dog this, this way. If you're brushing your dog, you can just check your dog, uh, you know, twice a week, three times a week. You should be on top of this to see if they are developing any skin problems or any flea problems. You'll notice it right away. So if you're doing this and you notice a flea, you're possibly preventing a flea infestation because, you know, you, you're seeing the flea, you can address the issue, give them a flea bath, and it's done, you know. So underneath here, a little sensitive, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of doing this to her skin so I can get under there with the brush. This and this slicker brush is great. Um, it's a large. Uh, the great thing about this brush, it's not really, doesn't have a heavy curve here. The more curve, the more the brush is going to grab, okay? So you don't want too much of a curve here. All right, so let's continue. We're going to work down these front legs now. She's not crazy about her legs being done, but again, guys, we have to get it out. You can see her, like, pulling up. You know, they, they like to tuck their legs up. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to <laughs> separate the little, her little right leg here and get in there and, and do it. And using the corners of the brush, you know. Hey, it's okay, mama. So I'm gonna give her, let her settle. This way I can get right in here. So, you know, she has a little knot right here. So it's okay, mama. I'm not gonna pull it. I'm not gonna pull it. Here we go. It's okay, sweetie. Come here. Come on. It's okay. I gotcha. Good girl. That's it. We got it out. All right. And then her left front leg here. Just grab this right here. We're almost done with this brush out, guys. So, again, uh, you're doing this in minutes. Just take the time to do it. Set up a little area in your house um, and just have it be a thing, you know, have it be a thing you do with your dog, you know, twice a week, once a week, helps you bond with your dog. When she's all done and groomed, she just gives us massive kisses, you know, because she's all set, she's all... Uh, you know, she's happy, she's clean. She's gonna go home, get all this attention now, all due to, you know, us grooming her. Okay, so her front legs are set here. I'm just gonna work her chest a tiny bit. So I'm gonna lift her little head here. Again, she's older guys, so I'm trying to be really, really careful. When you're working on older dogs, don't don't make sudden movements like don't lift their head real quick, because you know you can sprain their neck or you can hurt them, especially with older dogs. We work on a lot of older dogs, and you have to really have kid gloves, and you know, at the same time get the job done. Okay, so her chest is done. 
going to do the back of her head here, just coming forward. And I'm going to do her head and her ears probably at the same time. And she's not in terrible shape either, so that's why this is going so smoothly. But again, the key is don't, don't let your dogs get to the point where now they're in really, really bad shape and you can't even do this. Now it's a shave down. You know, now it's a bigger process. Good girl, mama. It's okay, sweetie. That's all, baby. Really cute little poodle, guys. That's all, mama. I'm gonna take the loop off real quick here so I could just get her neck. Good girl, mama. See how you just position the muzzle? They'll get used to this too, guys. You know, a lot of it is just positioning. This is a tough spot behind the ears. They, they tend to get a lot of knots there. But come here, baby. It's okay. A little bit behind this ear, and you're done. That's it, Mama. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Okay, guys. So that's it. I mean, that's we brushed out this whole dog in probably what? you know 10 minutes and you can go through go through them with the comb i couldn't get this comb through her at all before okay and this is this is the finer tooth so you know you can kind of test if you feel any grabbing you might have to go over a spot here and there but this is how you test you go through it with the comb right here if you feel anything you just go back over it it's okay mama you're all done But that's it. You can see how the comb is just going right through her. She doesn't have any knots now. Like I said, if she does, you just, like right here, you know, the, the, the comb is going to let you know you got a little knot there. So here, we just go over it, get it out, and boom. See? That's it. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, guys. All right. That's it. We're going to get her in the tub. We're going to give her a good bath. And uh, we'll show, show you what she looks like when she's done. We're going to clean her face. We're going to give her some clean feet. And she's going to look really, really cute when she's done. Right, Mama? Huh? Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. You little sweetie. You're a little sweetie. You're so sweet. <laughs> You're so cute. You looking at me like, what's that? <laughs> it's just a camera, sweetie. It ain't gonna hurt you. It ain't gonna get you or nothing. No. You good girl. By giving her a good brush out prior to the bath, it allowed us to do this fantastic finish where I can get a one and a half snap-on comb right through her coat like butter. Don't mind these two little shaved areas on her front legs. She had a couple of vet visits and they had to shave her in these spots. That's gonna do it for this video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.